Hello everyone and welcome to Vlogmas Day 2. Just for two seconds. Hello everyone, welcome to Vlogmas Day 2. This is how you look like. <laughs> <laughs> Reset. Three, two, and one. Hello everyone and no, no, welcome. No, no, I'm not going to do it. I wasn't even trying to do that. Hello everyone and welcome to Vlogmas Day 2. So, as you guys saw, this morning was a really good morning. I woke up, made my coffee. Um, my husband made me some pancakes, gave me some breakfast. They're called Daddy's Famous Pancakes. If you want the recipe, you can like, share, and subscribe. I can most promise you that the recipe was not anything crazy. So where's the, where's the recipe from? I can most promise you that it was from Aunt Jemima or whatever, Aunt Jemima? Or whatever it's called now. Because it wasn't Aunt Jemima. Then who was it? Sorry? Who was it then? It's an old recipe that I have, but it wasn't Aunt Jemima. Okay. It was Pearl, okay. Pearl Milan Company. Company. Okay, yeah, that's the that's, that's, that's a new Angie one. No, 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 that's a, that's an old. Right now, we're actually on our way to a coffee shop because we're going to um, do a little bit of a vision casting thing. You know, the year is almost over, and we really want to like gear up for next year. We actually had such a good service yesterday in Cabo Central Montreal. Turnout was great. Um, it was beautiful. Honestly, it's such an amazing service, and people gave their lives to Christ. Like people were just amazed at the word that. It's amazing. I'm honestly honored to be a pastor of the Campus Rush Montreal location. Alongside my husband, Pastor David. We actually really love doing this kind of stuff where we're like, we can go out on a coffee shop and just bitch and cast and stuff like that. We're really passionate about what God is trying to do through um, the ministry in 2024. We're really passionate about what God is trying to do through our lives in general, like our family, um, our marriage, and business. Like, everything social media like you name it like we're super passionate about what god's going to do in 2024 and we're super excited so i think that like i think service yesterday just kind of bubbled up my spirit even more about just like the excitement and looking forward to 2024 so we're really excited i'm gonna show you guys i'm gonna show you guys some clips when we get to the coffee shop but yeah i don't know if this vlog is gonna be one day it might be one or two days we'll see We'll see how it goes because I know, I already know. Let's not even discuss it. Last week was basically a trial run for Vlogmas, okay? It was a trial run. Hey guys, so we're at the coffee shop now. Um, we just got ourselves a cookie. I'll try to be bigger. I wouldn't like to bet if it was warmed up. Um, my soft life through Christ um, apparel. And I love it. It's super comfortable. The quality is amazing. Why are you putting your cookie in my chat? So, this thing, did Jesus himself touch it or something? This is okay, here's the thing. The thing about David is that he's not a coffee drinker. The man asked him if he wanted an espresso, and he said yes. This is a double espresso. Pretty good. I was gonna wrap, but she already messed up the phone. Why are you so. drinking my latte? You want me to ask them if you yeah, can go ask me. Okay. I'll be back. Alright guys, so like I said, 2023 was an eventful year. Why am I looking here? Let me look at it. 2023 was an eventful year. Obviously my daughter Eden was born. Uh, my son is growing healthy. Um, you know, there's ministry stuff, business stuff and so on and so forth. So we're just kind of taking time this year, uh, or actually just right now, we're taking time not only to plan, but also just to reflect on everything that God has done. I think a lot of times we can be so quick to like move on to the next thing, like have all these dreams and aspirations. 
to have all these things like just to be a go-getter, which is not necessarily wrong. The Bible does say to write the vision and make it plain, and I do agree with that. But I think it's also necessary to have times and moments in which you can just kind of pause and just like take a breather and be like, wow, God, I'm not where I want to be, but I'm not where I used to be. Like, there's so many things that you've done. And for me, these are moments that I'm going to take with Naomi to be like, wow. Yeah, so just to see, you know, sit back and just start like recounting all the testimonies. And I think it's super healthy to do that. It's actually necessary because it also shows God that before he'll add anything to your plate, before he can give you that blessing that you always wanted for that car, that dream house, that dream career, that dream husband, that dream wife, that dream life, you can still be thankful to God with what you currently have with that. Yeah, so I started preaching because he didn't want me to he didn't want me to rap. You see like, when you operate in the realm that you are called okay, to, me, you will flourish. I'm a So we just finished. Um, so we just finished at the coffee shop, mm -hmm. and we got quite a lot done. Yeah, I'll show you that they didn't have food though. Yeah, they didn't have any food. Yeah, but no, it was actually really good. Yeah, really good we time spoke about planning a few different things. Mm -hmm. and now we're at Ezekiel's daycare. Daycare. Yeah. So usually, um, I just pick him up by myself. So I'm sure he's gonna be really happy that he's gonna be really excited. Came and mm -hmm. yeah, no, I was whenever I pick him up, I always miss him. So I'm like, I'm always yeah. like excited. I was giving him a little snack. I think Nana brought him a snack too, actually. Nana brought him a bunch of snacks. You know, you know she's gonna do three things: pancakes, festivals, and what else does she, does she make for him? She brings some croissants. And croissants. <laughs> we'll wake up, Nana. Yeah, we'll say we're, we're Nana. We're Nana. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> Okay, so I'm back home. As you guys probably saw in the previous clips, I was getting my hair done. It's looking quite marvelous. Honestly, I'm never, ever, ever disappointed when I get my hair done by Kamara Beauty. It just does everything it needs to do and the hair is looking luscious and beautiful. So after I got my hair done, I had a meeting with my pastor, so that took a while. And then I also had, but it was a very good meeting, very, very good meeting. Then after that, I had a meeting for um, our CR Montreal ministry that went very well as well. It was for the social media, and I'm so excited to see what God's going to do through the social media team this year, um, well, this coming year in 2024. It's going to be really exciting, but I got home, okay? I got home, guys, and let me tell you, let me just big up my man a little bit. I came home, and this man cooked for me. But I had a very long day with getting my hair done, having meetings. Um, I even have to go to prayer pretty soon. So it was a pretty long day, you know? And I was like, I'm gonna have to go home and cook some food. But he did it for me. My man, my man, my man. He also basically did all of my chores, which is amazing because I wanted to come home and clean a bunch of stuff, but he did it for me. And I'm like, wow, I do not have to stress because it was a long day. It was a long day. But he did what he needed to, like he just like, it's the acts of services for me, okay? It's the acts of services for me. We just finished at the spa for the first time ever. I want to go to sleep. <laughs> yeah, I fell asleep doing it. I don't even know what happened. No, it was actually very relaxing. Um, yeah, it's quite relaxing. I think I probably fell asleep within, like I would say probably 10 minutes. 10 minutes? Yeah. I didn't fall asleep, but don't go to the spa with a fresh install because I feel like my hair is like greasy now. I'm telling you, it's not greasy. I it just, I ran greasy. my. It is a bit greasy. I can see. Yeah, probably, I can see. probably have to right here. comb it though. You probably have to comb it. I might put some dry shampoo. Yeah. But definitely don't go to the spa with a fresh install. Um, this is my first time, so I didn't know. But it's super, super relaxing. It was. I would do uh, it again. So yeah, 
We did it finally after like months. We did it. We Sh finally went to the spa. We've been trying to go to the spa for like literally um, since my birthday, so like since September. Yeah.